capillaries to your venous end. So knowing that, uh, this person here who's suffering from edema in the lower right limb probably has an accumulation of your interstitial fluid here. Interstitial fluid uh, accumulation can be removed by massaging. Remember, your lymphatic system vessels and your veins, both of them have valves. Valve is a one-way flow. So if you're putting uh, pressure and um, massaging that area there, then you are um, helping the uh, flow of interstitial fluid through those um, vessels up towards one way, you know, and they're putting pressure for them to come in inside. So that way more of it can again return into your venous end. Remember, most of the interstitial fluid are either going back to your venous end or they are taken up by your lymphatic system um, and made into lymph. So by massaging, you are helping that process to happen. So the fluid can move in and once the fluid moves, remember the valve closes behind, so that fluid pushes forward and you create more pressure there, um, then uh, that keeps moving. The reason uh, this rhythmic massage helps you to move forward and not backward is because again of the valves. So that's why mas massage can help with clearing up of your, a lot of it, of your um, edema or extra interstitial fluid in this case. Another, the last question from chapter 18 is on number nine. It says, one cool evening, skinny dip jumps into a hot jacuzzi. Um, predict what will happen to Skinner's heart rate. Okay, so we have this hot water. So the temperature is uh, rising. Whenever you have this person going into a hot place like the water, the temperature rise will cause your vessels, blood vessels to dilate. Um, so the increase in temperature will cause the vessels to dilate and the blood pressure will now decrease. So when the vessels are bigger, there's this blood pressure inside the vessels that less now. So blood pressure decreases. But once that happens, again remember this is a deviation. Sorry, um, 